One of your favorite YouTubers liking your videos or actually like one of your comments is pretty cool. And it really want like his self like one of my comments and one of his new videos of We Are Wumble being this is epic and it really is epic. <laughs> and also like one of my videos that also pretty much talk about him. So if you pretty much see this video and know who he is, please show it to him to actually show how much I actually love him. I actually saw his channel since his first video. I actually saw his channel being Faith out of the Chuck E. Cheese. And I really appreciate his own channel and his own Cartoon Fight Club series. Also, I gotta get a special thing to Anthony Stallings. Why? Because thanks to him, I pretty much is gonna be in the Cartoon Fight Night animator team or whatever, animation team or whatever. And then I'll be also a part in the Ultimate Battle Royale or Ultimate Showdown in Cartoon Fight Club Part 5 or whatever. I'll be one of the animations and you will see it later in Cartoon Fight Club. Other than that, subscribe to We Want Wumble. Animation we want and Anthony Stallings. But talking about the feeling, do you know what it feels to actually have your own series lose multiple times? No? Well talk to the poster boys of these series characters that are about to fight right now. Chris and Frey Fazbear. These guys been in Carter Fight Club a buttload of times. Well not much that but still a lot of time to actually be a good audience and actually get a lot of views. But they just lose almost every single battle. And to be honest to the FNAF fans, they lose more battles but actually have more wins than Delta Wu. The FNAF even have more wins than Minecraft, Team of Minotaur, Sonic UFC, Team Ruby, and the other stuff. So pretty much the question here is, who is more of a weaker person? Who is more of a challenge to these losing streaks? Today, we find that out. Today, we rewind- Oh, wait, wait, there's a card fight club. Dang it! Shut the fuck up! Fill your fucking place! Trash! Chris and Freddy Fazbear have been in this Cartoon Fight Club thing before. So pretty much I'm gonna do a little review on both of them. So yeah, Chris Origin is pretty much like the other origins. Yeah, he just the son of a goat mom and a goat dad. Do you heard that origin before? No? You didn't? Good, cause that's the only origin I can actually find. And then he went to school, and school is pretty dandy. You know, he have a good life. He pretty much getting good grades and being a good kid. <sighs> But of course, he met somebody named as Susie, uh, Barney ripoff, Barney's daughter, uh, Barney wanted me, whatever you want to call her. And then he got bullied, she said, nah, left hand, and then later, outfit, uh, lose some chalk, and then the person that played my kind and, uh, bully cliche that she asked both of them to go get some chalk. Sadly, both Chris and Susie went to the dark world, and then he somehow got this armor and stuff, you know, a cool sword, a cool shield, <laughs> and he somehow had that classic Sonic blue color cliche thing, and then he went some adventures, he meet Rousey, the the black goat, yeah, the black goat out of the yeah. uh, Oh my god! Uh, so then he meets Lancer, a sand ripoff, uh, King Round thing that looked like a dog, King Chaos, who is rival with Bowser, and some reason Javel, who is some type rival with Sander, Bill Cyber for some reason. But all that he went home and things wasn't that good, especially by a heart whipping ending. And yes, it is heart whipping. But that beside the point. Somebody had to see horror movies sometimes you know speaking about horror Frey Fabric take a different route because he was used to be a kid and also he's from a horror game you know he's not gonna be a kid for long way right? <laughs> no so pretty much yes Frey Fabric and his friends saw a guy named the purple guy good name right and then he actually bring the kids to a place where nobody ain't gonna find them and then he does the thing of of course Killed the kids. Of course, we all went there, right? We all saw that before. And then the puppet saw them and did the give, give, give life thing. And then boom, 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 boom. And then Frey Fabber is what he known today. A whip off of Chuck E. Cheese and possibly Smokey the Bear. Now, all that aside, we can now go to powers and abilities of these characters. Chris is pretty much skilled with his sword and his shield. Pretty self-explanatory, right? A shield is to deflect, and sword is to attack. And then if you know the Undertale game, which everybody somehow knows and remembers, you pretty much know his other ability. Yeah, you know, the fight, act, item, and mercy thing. It's pretty self-explanatory by all those things. But Chris' weakness that he is still 
still human, that even though he's a powerful human with powerful stats, he can still get easily defeated. He is also a team fighter. Faith Faber is sometimes a team fighter and a solo fighter in some situations. Faith Faber has abilities such as a power song, heal song, bite, and might toss, birthday, piece of wheel, teleportation, low tier hallucination, jump scary, biting, and animatronic suit stuffing. But you can learn the ability by the other phrase of Faith Fazbear. Faith Fazbear have over peak human plus worth of stats. Even wall level plus worth of stats and in the final of phrase Silver Eyes book, and yet that is canon, he destroy animatronic that have triple or double his stats. His weakness that he is sometimes a team fire and he can easily be damaged. Sadly. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! April, it's early, early. You're up! And the winner of this battle is Chris. Yes, this battle is kind of close in my opinion, but pretty much this is not as close to as to get Faith Fabber win. Let me get started of saying yes, Faith Fabber is far stronger. Faith Fabber literally lived a whole entire arcade machine to just one hit with zero effort and draw around like toys. Faith Fabber even destroyed in just one punch and will turn to have double or triple his size and stats. He can also crush human by bending or chopping down a table and also have enough durability to survive or being on proper characters like Twisted Freddy or Twisted Wolf who actually survived a gunshot through the chest and actually on par with characters like Springtop who survived the whole entire building of Final Fantasy Faith Pizzeria as he burned down and get destroyed. He is probably also on par and popular than the FNAF bosses in FNAF world. This is some things that Image Rewind won't probably agree to, but for this time, let's get Freddy Fazbear a fighting chance. But even if Freddy Fazbear does did that stuff and Image Rewind actually agree to it, we then see Freddy Fazbear at the speed of hypersonic, uh, being on par with character who could dodge sound waves. He didn't have enough durability to survive a fall that can fill whole entire multiple city blocks, or on par with characters who did the same or be more popular. Yes, Faith Fabber had more powers and abilities. He is also more intelligent since he's actually a tactical thinker and can actually make game plans in the middle of a fight. And I know Faith Fabber is still losing this battle, but at least he got an idea to actually go for a long one. Also, Faith Fabber is slightly more skilled. Yes, they have fought many bosses and monsters. But there's a higher chance of Chris doing things on his own, like, you know, he just don't be in himself, just be in the team battle. Faith Faber is also a team member, yes, but still, he sometimes do some solo things by killing people. But even though by all that, thing to victory between JaVale and King Chaos know a lot about Faith Faber tactics. All Chris needs to do is just decapitate Faith's head and then it's just over. Make the winner of this battle, Chris. So yeah, sadly this fight ain't probably ain't gonna have a rematch. But for Kieran King, yeah, that next episode of season two, Ultra Battle Royale season two, episode two, yeah, it's coming very soon. Yeah, and I'm going to spoil the fighters. It is actually, I ain't gonna spoil the fire. <laughs> I just got prank, baby. But please show the video to Ant-Man I would really love to if you do that. Thank you so much. Liverpool out.